uh, Java programming basics. So if you're familiar with the Java programming language, uh, you're familiar with data types, procedural programming, um, objects and classes, uh, you probably can skip this video. Um, I'll mention that I'm completely self-taught in this area, so uh, if someone is watching this video and you catch something I say that is incorrect or could be uh, stated in a different way or more concisely, please uh, let me know. I'm open to any kind of criticism in the comments area. I'm always learning as well, okay? So um, here we are. I'm going to go to the uh, Java. I'm going to go to Eclipse. And uh, this time we're not going to create an Android program. We're going to create a new project. And we're just going to create a standard Java project. All right. Um, and the project name, I'll just go ahead and create uh, my tutorial. And we'll go ahead and click Next. All right, and then Finish. And we'll just create a standard project here called My Tutorial, which is over here on the left. Now, inside of the Source folder, um, let's go ahead and create a new package because we're going to have two classes and we'll need to have them into a, into a class, uh, into a package here. We'll need to tie these classes together. And I'll go ahead and I'll call this my uh, my package. All right. Um, and it says, okay, so I'll go ahead and make it lowercase because that's what Eclipse is telling me. That's what I like about Eclipse is it catches everything and it makes lots of great suggestions. And you can, if you don't know what you're doing by paying attention to the errors and the things that Eclipse throws out at you, uh, carefully, you can really learn a lot that way as well. Uh, Eclipse is a great programming tool, but it's also a great learning tool. Um, I'm going to right-click on the package that I just created, and I'm going to click New Class. All right? And uh, we'll go ahead and we'll call the name of this class, um, I'll call this, um, you know, basic, uh, basic Math. All right? Just like that. And it's going to be a public class. All right? And that's what I'm going to leave checked there. And uh, this is going to be our main class. So we're going to say public. We're going to have which method stubs would you like to create? We're going to create a public static void main because this is going to be the main class in our program. And uh, that's what Java looks for as sort of a starting point is the main method. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to make basic math our main method here. Our main class, excuse me. And inside of that, we have our main method. Okay, so... Uh, when you're programming in Java, the first thing you kind of need to think about, or any programming language, is declaration of variables. Um, you have several different types of variables that are available. And um, let's just take a look here. I've got a, a brief reference sheet set up here, and this is available on my Moodle site for my class. And I'll say, okay, this variable type is going to be a string, and I'll call the string my string. And I'm going to set it equal to the value of, in quotation marks, this is my string, all right? And I'm going to end the statement with a semicolon, all right? Now, that is um, a complete statement within our main. And what we've done is we've basically declared a string, a variable, and we've assigned this string the value of this is my string. Now, it's underlined in yellow because we haven't used it for anything yet. Um, if we wanted to print the output of this, a simple way to do it would be to use system. Um, and then, uh, now, if I put the dot... That'll give, me, um, uh, that'll give me a list of methods that are available within our system class. System.out. All right, dot. And once again, um, using Eclipse, you get a whole list of things that um, you can use for this system.out. And in this case, I'm going to use the println function. Okay? And println will accept an argument that is a string. And I'm going to have it println my string. All right? So. Um, I've created a string, and I've told the system to print it out, all right? Uh, I'll save this program. I'll come up to my tutorial. I'm going to click right-click. I'm going to choose Run As Java Application, okay? And if I run that as a Java application, in Eclipse, in our default work view, if you come down to the very bottom here, where it says Console, we've got our Console tab set, you can see it has. It says now this is my string. So that program has successfully worked. We have assigned a string to a variable and printed it out. Okay. Um, we can also do things like declare numbers and add them up. So I'll go ahead and I'll keep this down at the bottom. How's that? We'll keep this particular string, my string, and system out down at the bottom, and we'll sort of work up here at the top. Let's declare a double. All right, 
and I'll say double, and I'll give it, I'll say the variable is going to be A equals, we're going to set the value of what's on the left to what's on the right, uh, 4.0, because a double is a decimal value. value. And I'll say double uh, B equals 5.0, okay? And uh, let's, we can do things now like this. I can say, uh, okay, and I'll say double C equals 0. We'll give it an initial value right now. Okay, C equals zero. Now we can change that later in the program. Oh, it's underlined in red because it's not a decimal value. So 0, 0.0, a double is expecting a decimal. And we can do things like we can add them. I could say um, C now equals uh, B plus A, all right? And if I wanted to check the value of C now, I could use the same system.out.println. It not only accepts strings, it accepts doubles, and it will print a, uh, a double as output. So I'll go ahead and paste that. System.out.println, and in the parentheses, then I can just put C, and we can check the value of C now, okay? Um, and in this case, it would print B plus A, which is 9. All right, so if you run that program now, it'll print 9, and it will also print the value of my string because that's still sitting down there, okay? Uh, we could do something like this. If we wanted to set the value of C to B, and then we could multiply it by A, all right? It would be 5 times 4, and now the value of C, okay, that would be printed out by running this would be 20, okay? Um, so we're changing the value of C. Now, uh, that's basic. You declare your integers. If you wanted to declare an int, you would declare it as int... Um, I equals 7, all right? And you can see I didn't do that correctly because int is not supposed to be capitalized. All right, and so now we've got an integer value that's declared as 7. If I wanted to work with that, I could. So uh, working with strings and working with numbers and declaring variables and then doing things with those variables is, is uh, you know, the basic foundation of, um, of any kind of programming, uh, creating procedures. Uh, what we can do is now, if we have C equals B times A, okay, we may not necessarily know what the value of C is because B could be something that maybe we've read off the GPS device. Uh, B could be something the user has inputted. B could be something that's gone out and gotten off the web. We may have read a value off a web page and uh, read it into the value B. So, you know, B and A right now we know equal 5 and 4, but in a real program you may not necessarily know the real value of B and A, so you need to create a series of what are called um, if checks, all right, or you can use different loops. Uh, we'll just talk about a basic if statement. So if you want to check the value of something, you use if, and then in parentheses, let's say if C, and we can use less than, if C is less than 100, all right, and then I'll put a bracket here, and Eclipse will automatically put in the closing bracket. So if the value of C is less than 100, it'll execute any statements that it sees inside of those two brackets. So I could do like system.out.println, and, you know, I'll write C is less than 100. All right, now if C is less than 100, the system will print C is less than 100. Um, I could do something like if, once again, C is greater than. If you want to check the value, you could say if C, and then you put two equal signs. If C equals 10, let's say, all right, I, c I would go ahead and do my same deal. System.out.println, all right, C is 10, all right, um, and it would print that if C equals 10. Now, this is a key component of most programming languages. If you use a single, all right, equal sign, it will set the value on the left to the value on the right, so C becomes 0, okay? Um, if you use two equal signs, it's a check. It's asking a question, is C equal to the value of, s of 10? So two um, equal signs versus one equal sign is an important difference, okay? All right, so that's basic uh, declaring integers and working with uh, procedural programming. Um, I think I'm going to go ahead and end this tutorial here. Uh, once again, this is designed as a review for my 8th grade uh, Java programming class. You should be able to declare variables and do basic math with them in a procedural fashion by using if checks.